person. It was worse than I could have thought. It was crazy seeing half the roof gone. He rushed home from work after hearing about the fire and arrived to find out there will be little left of his home and belongings. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters and you see it right here, that massive fire that it took crews from eight departments more than three hours to get under control today. And the fire is believed to have started on the third floor, but between the smoke and the water used to put it out, everyone living there likely suffered damage. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson joins us live outside this complex in Ankeny, where firefighters spent most of the evening. Yeah, Aaron, they're still even on scene here, kind of maybe just looking around, seeing what's left here. Damage is still present, and we're told the Red Cross is helping every single resident that lives in this building, which they estimate to be about 40 to 50 people. All units are making, we're going to evacuate the building, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. evacuate. It's a no one wants to come home to. Oh. But one several did after a fire started at Walnut Ridge Apartments in Ankeny. It was shocking. Even, I, you had half an hour to think about it on the commute, right? But seeing it in person, it was worse than I could have thought. It was crazy seeing half the roof gone. Joseph Leaker just moved in three months ago and already has to find a new place to live. You make a list, you figure out what's gone and what has to be replaced and, and where you go forward from here. He's one of dozens that has to figure out what to do next. Thankfully, the Red Cross is helping all of the residents in this 24 unit building in some way. You know, in this COVID environment, uh, it's it's more of a challenge. You know, we, uh, we typically say we want to uh, provide hope and hugs, uh, but we don't do the hugs right now. But we do try to provide hope. While the cause is still unknown, Officials have a good idea of where the fire might have started. In newer construction, and you can see by the building behind us, it looked like it started on the deck. Um, a lot of buildings have sprinkler systems on the deck for uh, the, the grills the fires that, and outside fires that start. Um, there's no doubt that a sprinkler system may have stopped or prevented this fire from getting any worse. Uh, we do recommend you know, sprinkler systems both in commercial and residential buildings uh, just for that, that point. An afterthought overshadowed by gratitude that everyone got out of the complex and no one was injured. I'm also told that fire officials will be back on scene tomorrow morning to be able to investigate the cause of this fire in the daylight. All right, Kaylin Thompson reporting live all day long on this massive fire in Ankeny. Thank you.